Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Can It Take a K-26? The show where we take a variety of blasters and see if they can be upgraded using a K-26 spring. I am your host, Captain Xavier, and this is the third and final part of our Mega XL series for November 2021. Our final contestant is, of course, the Boomdozer. Now, the Boomdozer was released in 2021 as part of the Mega XL line. This in this particular one has already been sniffed. This is the one that I used when I first talked about Mega XL. So my general thoughts on that are fairly clear. I love that it's pump action. Six shot revolver is fabulous. They gave it a stock attachment point. It makes me so happy. It has the usual rail and all of that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna once again do the uh, the stock numbers there. I, I probably did them in the previous video about this blaster, but I'm gonna do it here just so it's all together. And then we will see if it can be upgraded. So to the chronograph. <laughs> right, this thing holds six rounds. So we gonna put six rounds through it. 55, 53, 55, 55. 54. How very dare you. 53. Very consistent. All within two FPS variants. That's uh, that's actually fairly impressive. Let's take it to the range and see, can I hit anything? Can I hit a target? Can I hit a shield? Because if you can't hit a shield, what's the point? Now here on the range, there isn't construction going on in the background. And we have a target set up at 25 of the feet. Can we hit it? One. Got it on the bounce. I don't know if that counts. No. Nope. Two. Two out of six. Meh. Let's see if we can make it a little bit zippier. Right, so performance could definitely be better. I'd like a little more zip. Maybe that'll make it a little bit more accurate, or at least allow it to go farther before it becomes inaccurate. We'll see. I suspect the internals to this are going to be very, very similar to the Double Crusher. Uh, and I unfortunately do not have a another uh, big rig spring lying around. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Let's get this thing open. All the other ones were perfectly fine, but this one they decided they needed to solvent weld right here at the back corner. I was able to just shimmy it open with my knife, just put it in here and cut through the solvent weld. Let's take a look. It's not exactly the same. The prime is more or less the same. But then it also has this rotation mech, so let's lift that on out of there. There's all of our gears. Now we gotta figure out how all of this works. Looks like there is plenty of room for additional compression on the spring. It does look to be a very K26-ish spring. It does appear, mm, fair, appears to be a fair amount of room on the plunger tube, so worst case scenario, we might be able to double it up, put some K25 around it. Uh, since K25 will nest comfortably around K26, if this is in fact very similar in diameter, which it appears to be, there we go. Hopefully I can figure out how all that went back together. And there is our plunger tube plunger rod. So our biggest constraint is kind of going to be where it tapers here might get in the way of a larger spring. Plunger head of course does not come off, but I think it'll actually be easier to get this one off than it was to get the previous one off. That did come off of there fairly easily. 
And pretty much no pre-compression, so we need a length of K26 that long. That is a stout spring. Here's a potential winner. I don't know what this is, but I might try it. But first we will try the K26. It is... Oh, it's... I... I think K this, the stock one might actually be heavier. Um, and there's more space between the rings. So while I, I said there, there, was, there, there was a fair amount of extra room for pre-compression, I don't know how much more. Yeah. K25 won't fit into that little gap unless I dremeled it out, but I don't think I would need to if I just doubled it up. Which I don't know if, it, if I even can. Might be a little bit too... I could double it up with K26. But the show is called Can I Take a K26? So we are going to try K26 first. I got the K26 in, I'm gonna finish buttoning it up and then we will give it a test. But first, a word from our sponsor. Lithography. Sweird. Yeah, right. Yup. Primes and catches, everything seems to be properly working. Let's go get some new numbers after these messages. All of the K26 used on this series was donated by Out of Darts. Check out his new website at outofdarts.com for all your nerf modding needs. All right, here we go, six more shots. Let's we'll see if there's any improvement. 63. 62. 62, 59, 62, so, oops, one more, 63, so still fairly consistent and about 10 FPS more, which isn't, isn't exactly great. Uh, I, I do believe I could actually have gotten more K26 in, but I don't think I would have wanted to try. Let's take it to the range though and see if uh, there's any improvement in accuracy or if it has in fact gotten worse. Right, here we are on the range. We've got about a 10 FPS increase. Let's see if that does anything at all. That was nice. A hit. A hit. A hit. Man down! That's four out of four so far, and we took out the target. Uh. And I hit that. So... 60 to 63 appears to be a sweet spot on this particular blaster. I am pleased with that. Let's go talk about it. Right, well, that turned out to be a better improvement than I thought. The increase in FPS wasn't much, but the increase in accuracy was incredibly noticeable. Four out of four hits on the shield with enough impact to actually knock it over, and then one out of two hits on the pie pan with the first one being a near miss. That'll do. That is a, a, a much better improvement than I was expecting. Like I said, apparently 62, 63 FPS is the sweet spot for, for this ammo from this blaster on this range today. I'm pleased with that. Now, if you really wanted a lot more power, um, there was definitely more room for pre-compression. You could, I could have tried to put a longer K26 in, uh, but I trying to reassemble it with any more pre-compression than I already had, I believe would be difficult and unpleasant. Uh, what I would do if I really wanted more power is I would probably nest the stock spring inside of some K25. Uh, I think that would fit, and I'm fairly certain that it would compress, and that would definitely give you a significant increase in power. Um, I'm not going to do it because I am very pleased with the results I got, and after all, the show is can it take a K26, and it can! So there you have it, the Mega XL Boom Dozer can indeed take a K26. 
Uh, up next, I will probably finally do some Hyper Blasters, because I know people have been asking about them, and uh, maybe some of the uh, new uh, Busby Blasters that I was sent. We'll see if that doesn't thrash them completely. And I do, yes, still need to get around to doing um, the uh, Thundershot um, videos, so stay tuned for those as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Ha!